Good morning, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to another video. I am so excited because today I am sharing with you a week of vegan dinners. This video is also very kindly sponsored by my friends at Squarespace who make it so ridiculously easy for me to create my own website. So the first dinner we are making today is a creamy pasta. And I started by blending soaked cashews, nutritional yeast, garlic, lemon juice, salt, and water in a blender until smooth. I use a Vitamix, but any high powered blender would work well. And then I took some Brussels sprouts, put them into a bowl with some olive oil and some salt, and I baked them in the oven for about 20 minutes or until they were nice and crispy. I also cooked some pasta whilst the Brussels sprouts were baking and I put this pasta into a large frying pan with the creamy pasta sauce and mixed and heated it all together. Then I served the pasta in a bowl with the roasted Brussels sprouts, some fresh snow pea sprouts for aesthetic and I enjoyed this very, very much so. Look, sometimes I like to keep dinner very, very simple, and this meal is for when you are having that kind of day. I first of all started by mixing together some almond butter, maple syrup, soy sauce, lemon juice, and water in a small bowl, and then I added in a whole bunch of broccolini and placed this onto a baking tray and into the oven to roast for about 20 minutes. Something else I am loving at the moment is baby carrots, and I especially love tossing these in olive oil, Italian herbs, garlic powder and salt until it is nice and well coated and then I like to roast these in the oven for around 40 minutes. So as you can see this dinner is so ridiculously simple and easy but it is packed full of flavor and it leaves me feeling very full and also very nourished. Okay, before we get into the rest of the dinner recipes, I want to take a moment to thank my friends at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video because as you know, I love Squarespace so very much because I built my website with Squarespace and on said website, I share recipes with you so that you can enjoy them at home. So if you're a creative or you run your own business or you just have something that you want to share with the world, Squarespace make it so simple and so efficient to make blog posts and to set up an online store and to connect your social media and view the analytics of your audience. So yes, I know how many times Ice Cacao gets searched on my website and let me tell you, it's a lot. <laughs> anyway, if you're looking to build a website, I highly recommend checking out Squarespace if you haven't done so already. You can actually head to squarespace.com or click the link in my description box for a free trial. And then when you are ready to launch your website, you can go to squarespace.com slash Amanda Ducks to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay, let's move on. And next up, we are making some ridiculously delicious sweet potato burger patties. Okay, so to make these sweet potato and chickpea patties, I started by boiling some sweet potato until it was super soft, and then I placed this into a bowl with some chickpeas and mashed it all together. You don't need to use your hands, but I really like cooking with my hands if you haven't noticed this already. Then I added nutritional yeast, some veggie stock powder, some salt, garlic powder, and olive oil, and I mixed it all together again. And then I rolled these into balls and pressed them into burger patties and baked them in the oven for around about 40 minutes. Now it is time to build the burger. And I started with a fresh bread roll, added some tomato chutney, spinach, one burger patty, more tomato chutney, cucumber, tomato, another burger patty, avocado, and then finished it with the sesame bun on top. You can make these patties in advance and store them in the fridge for a few days if you wanna enjoy them on burgers or in salads throughout the week. Mm -hmm. 
Alrighty, so next we are making one of my favorite meals, a burrito bowl. And this recipe makes enough for three, so keep that in mind when you are making it at home. To start, I made a fresh salsa with cucumber, cherry tomatoes, and coriander. I placed this all into a bowl and then added in some lime juice and tossed it all together. After that, I made smoky black beans with olive oil, black beans, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and liquid smoke. And then it was time to build the burrito bowl. So I started with some white rice. I added then cos lettuce, as well as the smoky black beans, the fresh cucumber salsa. I added some charred corn, some fresh avocado, natural coconut yogurt, coriander and fresh lime on the side this was so ridiculously nourishing and delicious and you should definitely try it out at home Okay, it is time to make some lentil meatballs. And I started this by blending lentils, walnuts, Italian herbs, garlic powder, salt, olive oil, and tomato puree in a Vitamix until it was very well combined. Then I rolled the mixture into balls. I placed them onto a baking tray and baked them in the oven for around about 20 minutes. I decided to serve them with pasta. However, you could also put these in like a sub or in a salad and they would still be very delicious. I added a simple tomato pasta sauce on top as well as some sprouts as well as fresh parsley and once again this was a very very simple dinner but I had poured a lot of love into it when I pour love into my food it is like pouring love into myself as I always say <laughs> Okay, so next we are making one of my favorite simple meals, which is a falafel pita pocket. So I started by cutting some cucumber, tomato, and parsley and tossing this together before frying some store-bought falafel balls in a little bit of olive oil. Then I made one of my favorite things, a tahini dressing, which I make with tahini, water, maple syrup, and lime juice, and I mix it together until it is nice and smooth. I then heated my pita pocket in the oven. I filled it with some store-bought hummus, as well as the cucumber, tomato, parsley mix, the fried falafels, and I topped it with the tahini dressing. Super quick, super simple, and of course, super delicious. Okay, so last but certainly not least is this sweet and sour tempeh that I made, which, oh my goodness, I am obsessed with it. I started by making a sweet and sour sauce with pineapple juice, tomato sauce, maple syrup, soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, and cornstarch, which I mixed well and boiled it for a few minutes before removing it from the heat. Then I sliced some chickpea tempeh into cubes, placed this into a frying pan, and then added the sweet and sour sauce to it. You could also use tofu here if you would prefer tofu, and you also don't need to add all the sweet and sour sauce. You can save it to pour on top. Of course, I then cooked some white rice to go with my sweet and sour tempeh in my rice cooker, and then it was time to plate it all up. I enjoyed a whole block of this tempeh with rice. I added some spring onions on top as well as some snow pea sprouts, and then the rest of the sweet and sour sauce, which is a very delicious way to end a day and also to end this video. So thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. I appreciate it so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy the recipes and I will see you very soon for another video. Have a beautiful day.